Hello guys, thanks for joining me today. This project is a keepsake box that features finger joints and a sliding top. I needed something simple to store some of the family pictures that I have. And I begin with marking all four sides of the stock that I'll be squaring off. As we're going through the joiner and thickness planer and the bandsaw, now I have the thickness that I'm looking for. Next step is to cut them to size. And I begin with squaring off one side and then cutting the other side using a stop block so I can make sure that I get consistent cuts. And here I'm using the anchor jig to make finger joints. And believe me guys, this is my 20th trial. And finally got it going. And you can see in the next shot what I mean by finger joints. And a couple of passes on the table saw to create the groove that takes the bottom and the top of the box. Now on this piece I'm cutting all the way through, which will then allow the top to slide, and you'll see in a moment. I'm using a piece of 6mm plywood against the grooves at the top of the box to mark, and then I can rip the lid and bottom of the box to size. After I was happy with the dry fit, I took the pieces apart and started the process of gluing.
And after the glue had dried, I applied a good amount of wood filler. And after everything is dry and sanded and looks good, I apply a wood conditioner which will make the wood basically absorb the stain evenly. Now I engrave the top with a simple message and the technique will be shown later on in a different video. But I do need this engraving to show and what I do is use steel wool and some of the stain that I used and fortunately for me it was already in front of me spilled from my good painting job. And what I do is basically rub and drop on the engraving with the stain that I used and then I use uh, spray paint and uh, preferably the uh, black colored spray paint that doesn't dry out quickly uh, so that I can rub it. Now interesting enough uh, you can see that there was a halo that, create, that was created around the message which I liked and kept and now I'm doing the final fitting. I'm happy with it, happy with the color and how it looks. And then uh, I applied a lacquer sealer to lock in the stain. There you have it guys. I do love how this turned out to be and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you later.